Uh, Dilemme has been out for about six years. It's a, a French collection. Uh, it's a small company owned by two brothers. All the product is made in Jura, France. Um, the idea of Dilemme is to give people lots of options and to allow people to be as creative as they can be. The, the concept of Dilemme is that every frame is composed of a front and then the temples. The front is the consistent piece and the temples can be changed with a click little click on, click off concept. And you can be as neutral or uh, as untraditional in design as you want to be. We have frames that range from surgical grade stainless metal fronts, plastic fronts, there are semi-rimless designs. It's, it's really a, uh, a standalone collection. It's got everything from semi-rimless designs, uh, full-rimmed metal designs, full-rimmed plastic designs, completely rimless designs, uh, really anything a traditional collection would have, Dilem has also, with the added bonus of being able to change the temples in and out. The temples themselves are a nylon polymer, which is really flexible, forgiving, uh, virtually unbreakable, um, but extremely lightweight. So from the function perspective, they're really easy to wear. From the fashion perspective, you get to be as creative and help design your own product. Um, each frame comes complete with a set of temples, but then right in the purchase price, you get to choose any of the other temples you want. And then you just add to your wardrobe of temples and you really have a, a look for every day of the week or every outfit. And you don't have to invest in the expense of, you know, extra uh, prescription lenses and the front of the frame. Um, it's an affordable way to really have a frame wardrobe. The Yoko and Yake line um, is a base metal of erodium, which is just as light as titanium, a tad heavier than titanium. It's overlaid in 3.5 microns of 14 karat gold, a colored blued finish. Most of the units are a solid piece construction, so there's no frontal welds to break. A lot of the sides have bombinka wood, which is a rare African wood that are used in a lot of the Cartier frames. Uh, bombinka wood is uh, its not harvested from tearing down of rainforest or anything like that. Um, all the lines that we have through Ayoko and Yake are uh, hypoallergenic, anti-corrosive, uh, eco-friendly. Um, they're basically uh, high fashion forward, extremely well made, but the price point's comfortable enough for the average person. The Ayoko and Yake line uh, is worn, uh, you know, teens wear it, uh, older ladies wear it, younger women wear it, men wear it. Uh, it's called an exotic conservative line. Um, what that means is that it's exotic enough to where you can wear it going out, but conservative enough to where you can wear it in the office every day. Um, generally on each side there's a three-point viewing process, a color, an imprint, and then on the inside a, a, a fancy design generally inlaid in titanium. 12-piece um, custom moldable for each person. This is the Ayoko collection. It's designed in Belgium and then fabricated in Japan. Hey boy, just